If you are over the age of 35, stop everything you're doing right now. After a lifetime of eating fatty foods, you may run the risks of a stroke or heart attack due to plaque buildup in your veins and arteries. To learn how you can reduce your risks, visit youthfountainlab.com or call 1-800-853-7856 today. This may be a life-changing call for you or someone you love. Thank you, and we hope to hear from you. Benny Lasbury was a young, poor African-American kid who inadvertently got caught up in the mob when he came to the aid of a mafia captain under the attack by a group of assassins. Benny saved the man's life, and in return, he becomes the head of the mafia's drug operation. Buy the House of Lasbury in the description box. I think we made a, a huge impact with our effort to, you know, present our work. Huge impact. Yeah, indeed. I was listening to you speak one one time. You were speaking on legacy and you were speaking on the culture and how obviously us as as blacks, we never or we got our name stripped from us. And then we had to create off of our new name and create a new legacy. I kind of want to attribute that to hip hop, because like you said early in the interview, our forefathers in hip hop, we talked about building youth, um, 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 growth, empowerment, who we are as kings, as gods, as individuals. And, and throughout time and throughout evolution in hip hop, where would you say the culture and the legacy has landed now in 2021 when it comes to hip hop? I'd say, I'd say we definitely um, came a very long way. Uh, we get in notoriety. Um, the, the founders like, like Melly Mel and Run DMC, they, they get in the recognition at this point that solidifies our footprints in the sand you know what i mean mm. and how we you know how we carry one another through the struggle because those brothers paved the way it's like without them there wouldn't be no wu-tang clan right but, you know, what without not not just the work but the beautiful aspect of continuing to be righteous and overcoming the obstacles and not getting caught up in the hollow head suction you know what i mean so it's one thing to to be able to do it, but it's another thing to be able to hold it down and to be fruitful and multiply with it. You know what I mean? And and as you know, right now a lot of groups is, is separated, mm -hmm. and, and you know what I mean. And that right there is still not a good sign. Although we did come a long way, and 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 the names is being established, you know, through hip hop. Now you can trace back the legacy of people, but understand this, the fragileness of us. When I say the fragileness of us, I'm talking about the, 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 the overseeing of the youth. Instead of us trying to constantly attack what they doing, it's better for us to understand because understanding is the best part. And, and because if we separate ourselves from the youth and leave it up to the so-called industry to shape and mold them, then we're gonna have an industry of, come on, don't make me do this. Let's work. Don't make me do this, brother. Let's work. You know, mm -hmm. we, just, we just want our kids to be, to, to have the best option yes, of, being, of being the little boy and the little girl that they grew up to be. Mm -hmm. We don't want them you know, feeling like they have to become something other than they self to be accepted. Sure. Right. Now, now on, on speaking on that, um, how do you feel about the current mainstream hip hop and what's kind of being pushed out? Do you approve of it? Do you disapprove? Can you talk to us about where hip hop has evolved, to, you know, till now? Do you approve of it? Well, again, you know, um, I'm not a I'm not a approver or a disapprover. Okay. I'm a I'm a listener. I'm a listener. They say a good listener is what? A good learner. Yeah. If you listening, then you learning. So again, I said, look at our youth. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not what they doing. It's what they saying. What are they saying? If you if you and that's the beginning of trying to fix something that might not be what it's supposed to be. They might not, they, they, you know, they telling you, they're expressing their pain. 
Why you take? Why you pop in Molly's? Why is this going on? Uh, because this. You know, my daughter told me. I, I said, Yo, why do we have a, a lack of communication right now? And you're thirty years old. You know what she told me? What's that? You didn't go to my sixth grade graduation. Damn. Whew. See what I'm saying? Man. Yeah. How the hell that get all the way to 30, bro? Yeah. Yeah, that's deep. So, so, so again, all you got to do is listen. Hey, check this out. That's what a psychologist is going to do. You pay them all the money to go see a psychologist, and what's their job? Listen. <laughs> <laughs> you get like a hundred an hour. Yeah, I listen to you all day for that. That's my job. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. You know we just gotta listen to the youth, man, and 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 holler back, holler back at them when you get the opportunity. You know, and, and yo, let me tell you something. When you check out some of the interviews with some of them artists, them young brothers, mm -hmm. they right, yo, they they love us. They love they know we paved the way all of that. Right. But they gonna rebel if you go against them. Right. That's the nature of men. Oh, you with us or against us? Because if you come with us, then we'll change our ways. If you with us, right? Mm -hmm. If I, if mm -hmm. I, if the water man cold, and, and me, me, you, and your man standing there, and you're like, nah, man, nah. But if I jump in, y'all be like, fuck it, all right. <laughs> <laughs> be down with it, cause you see what I'm saying. So somebody got to jump. Somebody got to jump, man. You got to jump with the youth. Don't be trying to point the finger and tell them you're poking them. <laughs> ah, you're attacking. Yeah. They, need, they want respect too. Our, our children are advanced now. They advance. I told my I told my son, I said, yo, I'm telling you all this because I don't, I don't know how much time I got. He was like, wow, I get it now. I didn't get it before. Right. You didn't get it before, even though I was right there and I was telling him, I want to leave. And I let him leave. I let him leave, but I knew my words was going to stick with him. And that, and it was the word that brought him back. In the beginning was the word, and God saw that the word was good. And then the word became flesh, the manifestation of Allah's being God. I want to yeah, talk about name, yeah, that's where the name come from, man. We named everything. We gave it a name. Everything is power in the name. Mm -hmm. It's power in the name. Believe talk, that. Yeah. Indeed. You talk about oh, God, Bill, God. Not my fault, family. Um, you talk about power, and we see the power of how we distribute media nowadays with the social media and things like that. And unfortunately, a lot of what fuels the media is negativity and blood and guts and gore. People love it. They enjoy it. They feed into it. How can we change that? Um, how can we change that paradigm and switch that back over to something a little more positive? Because obviously it's what sells, but it's really doing no good for us as a people as a whole. So how, how in your opinion, do we transition that into something better? To where people feed into something a little more positive and, and you know what I mean put the energy into a little more something positive. Yeah, it, it, it start it starts to change itself after a while. You know what I mean? Mm. You know, you know, as a kid, we shit on ourselves daily as a baby. You know, we take a crap on ourselves as we get older, we start learning like, oh shit, nah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So a lot of times we do it on our own. We change on our own because change is also inevitable. It's going to take place regardless to whom and what. I'm just saying, like, when you see that kind of stuff on the TVs and all of that, that's that's where a lot of that stuff comes from. That's, that's the, the, you know, they're celebrating. 
the wicked ones celebrate that. They they make money off it, and we attracted to it, and we see it, and then next thing you know, we want gore and this and this and this and that and this and that, and then the satisfaction of that is what the dissatisfaction comes because of these movies and what happened. Oh, the movie theater shut down for a year. Mm. Damn, near out of business. You can't. You gotta go. You, yo, you had you had movie stars doing movie. The, yo, they was talking online on the gram. <laughs> movie stars like yo, what up? This is whoever. Like yo, I'm just here. I'm just saying, what's up? <laughs> yo, you remember all that? Just no, that? No, we do. <laughs> 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 yeah, welcome back. <laughs> I'm talking to us. <laughs> I had the blaze one on that one. Well, how do you think? Uh, yeah, so that's what happened. They shut that down. And then it went into now, you got the reality shows. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The reality shows took over, them little series and stuff like that. And them joints is they they're hotter than the movies. Yeah. So now it went from that to this next level of, of craziness. Like when I see the series, like when I when I seen Empire, I never seen a young boy call his mother a bitch on the big screen ever in my life. And yeah. so I see Empire. Know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That was the series blew everybody's mind. Then they came with uh, what's the other one? They was running neck and neck. The two, the two Power. series. Power. Power. Yeah. Yeah, those was like, I mean, homeboy getting his father shot and just mm -hmm. run. Just no more rules. Yeah. It was no more rules, brother. Without rules. Chaos. Yeah. That's that's it. So now you understand how the media could play a role in the learned behavior process. If you're over the age of 35 and over the years you've eaten pizza, dairy foods, deli meats, or meats with fat, you are likely to have some degree of plaque buildup in your veins and arteries. This increases your risk of suffering a stroke or heart attack exponentially, and no one wants such a catastrophic event to occur. Introducing Plaqueout. Plaqueout is made of all natural ingredients proven to help. Dissolve clots in the blood. Remove calcium deposits and plaque from the walls of veins and arteries. Improve viscosity of the blood. Improve elasticity of the veins and arteries. Treat varicose veins. And prevent the reoccurrence of plaque buildup. For more information, visit Youth Fountain Laboratory at youthfountainlab.com or call 1-800-853-7888.